Let us solve an optimization problem which is like a real-life example and application of calculus that is not only conceptually interesting but also incredibly practical. Before we begin, let me give you a challenge. Imagine you have a wire of length 100 meters and you want to make a rectangle out of it. You can make a rectangle like this, which is of length 40 and width 10 and the area of this rectangle is 40 times 10 or 400 square units. Now, you can also make a rectangle of length 35 and width 15, whose area will be 35 times 15 or 525 square units, or we can make a square from it of length 25 and an area of 625, right? So, we can make infinitely many rectangles from this wire, but the main question is, what dimensions of this rectangle would give you the maximum area? This is a classic problem that beautifully illustrates how optimization works in math. The solution isn't just about guessing. It's about using calculus to find the exact answer. Think about it for a moment. It seems tricky, right? But by the end of this video, you'll not only understand how to solve such problems, but also why integration and calculus make them so powerful. Let us start. One sunny morning, Alex woke up in his seaside cabin, and today he is excited to explore a small island just off the coast. The island was two kilometers directly north of the closest point on the beach, say this point, but Alex's cabin is six kilometers west of that spot, which means this distance is six kilometers. Alex could run along the beach at eight kilometers an hour and swim through the water at three kilometers an hour. The question is, how should Alex travel to reach the island as quickly as possible? Should he swim directly like this because this seems to be the minimum length, right? Or should he run to this spot and then swim because his swimming speed is less than his running speed and therefore he should swim as little as possible? Or should he run part of the way along the beach and then swim? This is an optimization problem because it involves finding the best combination of running and swimming distances to achieve the fastest route. Whenever you hear the word optimization, most of the time it means we are interested in either minimizing or maximizing something. Here we are interested in minimizing the travel time of Alex. Now, in order to make a general solution out of this, let us assume he runs for X kilometers along the beach. And then he swims like this, which is at a distance of y kilometers from the island. So if x is zero, then it indicates this path. And if y is two kilometers and x is six kilometers, then it is this path. Also, let t be the total time it takes to get from the cabin to the island. Now our job is to minimize this t. But how to do that? To figure out how long it takes to get from the cabin to the island, add the time spent running to the time spent swimming. We all know that distance equals speed multiplied by time. Therefore, time equals distance over speed. Therefore, the time Alex spent running along the beach is given by x over 8, right? And the time Alex spent swimming is y over 3, right? So, T, or the total time Alex spent traveling, is this plus this. Now, look at this. If this is x, then this is 6 minus x, and therefore we can find the value of y in terms of x, because y forms the hypotenuse of this right triangle. So we have the y square equals 2 square plus 6 minus x whole square. Thus, y equals this. So put it here. This way, the total time becomes a function of only one variable, which is x. So, to mathematically figure out the quickest way for Alex to reach the island, we use calculus. Now, in my previous video on derivatives, I told you that by taking the derivative of a function, which in our case is this t of x, we can figure out how the time changes as x changes and a derivative is essentially the slope of a function at a given point. Look at this graph of time t of x with respect to x. 
We can clearly see that as x increases, total time decreases, but after this point, it again starts increasing. And this minimum point is less than 6 kilometers, which means somewhere here. But how to find this minimum point? Now here comes the magic. What can we say about the derivative or slope of this curve at this minimum point? Yes, you are right. The slope is zero. And therefore, when we take the derivative of t of x with respect to x, equate it to zero, and then solve for x, we get the value of x, where this time is minimum, or this point on the curve. This is the main idea behind any optimization problem. Make a function with respect to a variable and then set the derivative of that function equal to zero. Now, I will not be showing the steps to find the derivative of this t of x, because that is not the purpose of this video, but you can open any online calculator and find the derivative, which I have already done for you. Now, if you want me to make videos on how to find derivatives step by step, please let me know in the comments below. For now, let's focus on solving the optimization problem by setting the derivative equal to zero and solving for x. We get this. Now, cross multiply to get this. Then square both sides to get this. Expand it to get this. And now rearrange it to make it 55 times 6 minus x whole square equals 36. And thus, 6 minus x equals plus minus square root of 36 over 55 or 6 over root 55. Thus, x equals 6 plus minus 6 over root 55. Amazing! Now, as we have seen from the graph that the value of x is less than 6 kilometers, and that also makes sense, therefore, we can discard this plus. And finally, we have x equals 6 minus 6 over the square root of 55, which in decimal is roughly equals 5.19 kilometers. So, Alex should run approximately 5.19 kilometers along the beach before entering the water. From there, he swims the remaining distance to the island. This gives Alex the fastest route possible. It's incredible how optimization helps us make the smartest choices possible using simple math. Now, can you solve this question which I asked at the beginning of this video? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you would like me to solve more optimization problems, just comment MOP and I'll make it happen. But I need to recharge my energy and keep going. And that can happen only if I get a minimum of 3,000 likes on this video. So, good.